So good morning, we are here with the Mr. Buzzington on the road, um, Annalyn and Benjamin. Uh, guys, you want to tell us a bit about yourself? What, what did you do uh, BT before travel? My name is Annalyn, yeah. but you can call me Annie. And I was managing a bar before in, uh, while living in Ghent in Belgium. Saved up a lot of money and started doing the trip. Yeah, so Benjamin, also live in Ghent, Belgium, and uh, I'm a social worker, and I've done different jobs, always in the field, basically I work with people, always, so about four or five different jobs in five, six different years, so, because I try to organize my life, like the last two years were also in function of, of traveling, I tried to find a job that didn't need like a long-term commitment, uh, even a rent engagement of a house which didn't need a long-term commitment. Because the idea of traveling has been there for a really long time. Even as a teenager, when I had my birthday and like my godfather would ask me what I would want for my birthday, I just said money because I'll go traveling mm -hmm. one day. And I actually don't remember where the idea came from. Yeah, the yeah. will has just mm -hmm. always been the there. The seed yeah. was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. The need. Yeah. 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 You cool. hear all these long-term travelers and their stories and the world is just a really big place and there's lots of places yeah. to discover. And, yeah, yeah. It cool. just felt like what I wanted to do. And how long have you guys been on the road? And this trip it's about 20 months I think. Yeah, yeah a little bit more. In February will be two years, which makes yeah. 24, so we're 22 months 22 now. Yeah. 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 Almost two yeah. years. That's a while. Yeah. yeah, that's a while. And what has the biggest change that you've seen in yourself now compared to before you started traveling? I think um, it might have made me more humble because uh, there's so many people in this world willing to, to move mountains to, to help you. Uh, so many nice people, so many nice places. Um, more grateful maybe because we have the option, we have a strong passport, uh, our money goes a long way. Um, yeah, more grateful and more humble in life in general, I feel, yeah. And you, Ben? Yeah, I'd, I'd uh, definitely join that. Like for me, uh, especially like, I think about Vooroordeel, what's in Dutch? Prejudice? Prejudice, yes. Prejudice or just um, like being on your guard. I've let that go mm -hmm. for a big amount because mm -hmm. coming here, this continent, you know, you, you never know. I've traveled before with the backpack, Asia as well. Some places more than others, you have to be on your guard, you don't want to get bumped all the time. But uh, like in this trip, most of all, I, I found like most people, they don't mean harm. They genuinely have good intentions. Yes. Doesn't mean they have the ability to help you. <laughs> but, <laughs> but they will try. But they will try. The intention yeah. is mostly there. Yeah. So that's one thing, like I've let my guard down yeah. a lot. I don't see that many threats around yes. me anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And you're not in to get me. Yeah, yeah. he's genuinely nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Most people are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really? Um, and like yeah. even some examples, we when we do wild camping a lot. Maybe that will come up later in the in the conversation. But I tend to always have a conversation if there's people living there, uh, yes. or even if oh. there's yeah. a cop passing pass, passing by. I always go and ask. Yeah, is it safe? And explain who we are, what we're doing, and then I'll go. If we don't want to disturb you, we're not going to leave any trash and. 99.9% .9 of the people in this continent, they, they'll even offer you a shower. Yeah. <laughs> yes. If you ask. Yeah, yeah. 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 And there'll always be no problem, which is, I feel, which is different than where we're from yeah. in yeah. Europe. Yeah. Yeah. So much people are more individual, they have their private property, and you just you can't just drive in yeah. and camp everywhere. A lot everywhere. more yeah. guarded and, and yeah. closed off, like, uh, especially yeah. in countries like uh, Colombia, Anyone you, you meet meet on the street or you cross ways, you say hello to each other. Yeah. And in Belgium, it would be what do you want from me mm -hmm. if you don't know each other. Yeah. It's a little yeah. bit, yeah, just a lot more closed off. Yes. Yeah. 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 And another thing I might add is like, um, I'm generally, maybe you wouldn't say, but actually kind of an anxious person. I get nervous sometimes when stuff needs to be done. Is it going to be done in the right way? And it's not going to be done in the right way if I don't do it myself. Well, now we're traveling in a vehicle, which I don't, I don't have any idea, especially before the trip. I yeah. knew nothing about cars. Yeah. And um, the, the mentality of the, the struggles or the, the challenges you'll face, you'll get through them. I have a bigger uh, possibility, I'd say, capability, 
of remaining calm. Uh, and even if it takes uh, twice or three times the time I want it to take, it's going to work out. It's going to get done eventually. <laughs> yeah. In the end, it's going to work out. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something that like uh, it uh, calms the anxiety a yeah, bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're yeah, in charge. Yeah, you don't look a very anxious person in what <laughs> we've experienced. You've done very well. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes like your recovery <laughs> is going well, yes. very well. You right. should yeah. write yeah. a book. Yeah. <laughs> we've been traveling with um, these guys off and on for quite a bit. The most yeah. we've traveled with anybody. Yeah, so we've hung, hung, hung around quite yeah. a bit with them. Yeah. So yes, you, yeah, you, you, you're good. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, uh, okay, you were talking about wild camping. So um, any tips for people wild camping? Well, the one... If I go first. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So the, the most important one for me is just get the bearing of the situation. Talk to people. Yeah. If there's people around, if there's no people around, you mostly fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But but yeah. even so, it might be a police officer, might be a yeah. local. But uh, I feel like a bit of intriguing if I go to any town square plaza and just yeah. camp there, and there'll yeah. be people around, and maybe yeah. I'll ask someone who I can ask if it's okay. Yeah. Even yeah. that. Yeah. So that's the biggest tip. Yeah. We've only done that twice in Plaza. Yeah, we've done yeah. it all the time. Yeah, yeah. we're pretty stealthy. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> it really yeah, looked yeah. like a camper van. Yeah. Yeah. Except the solar panel. But yeah. And have you uh, ever been set to leave? Oh, well, yeah, leave. there was a time, in, I think it was in near Oruro in, um, in Bolivia. Mm-hmm. And we, we, ah, yeah. we were planning to stay at the, um, it was an overland spot mm-hmm. at the, the airport, but the gates were already closed, so we had to look yeah, for yeah. an alternative. And we decided to park in front of the police station, and then Ben did what, what he oh. did, what he always does, and talked to a local, and they said, you're not even safe in front of the police station. Mm-hmm. So then, uh, it, ha- it, it, it happened, yeah. but it was the, really, just yeah. very no, benign. It, it happened a few times. But it's not it's because they didn't want you to, it's not because no, they, they said it was yeah. 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 There was yeah. only, oh, yeah. also in yeah. Ecuador, north of Ecuador, there was a guy, we, we he was asking questions, doing the conversation, because we try to interact yeah. with local people as much as we can. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the boring part is we have, a, it's very repetitive. Yeah, the, <laughs> same, the same story the same over Spanish and over story again. that we can yeah. tell. But it comes out very fluently. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but so we told this guy about where we were going to camp, and he said, no, nah, I would like better you just camp in front of my door, stuff yeah. like that. Uh, that happened, or in Bolivia, it was just a yeah, dirt. But again, he didn't say no. No, he yeah. didn't say no. no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. There was no. a dirt road just out mm-hmm. of the of the main track, but it was like a couple of hundred meters, well yeah. hidden, and we were just parked. There was no one around, like preparing camp or whatever. Mm-hmm. And a cop showed up, and he said, "Nah, guys, I wouldn't recommend sleeping here, mm-hmm. and I'll show you a place which is better." And he, he just he escorted us. Yeah, he uh, wanted to yeah. show the place. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. he just drove us to a place where there was more passage, more people yeah, driving yeah, by, yeah, because yeah. he said, out there, nobody can see you. That could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But only, and all the times we were not allowed to camp where people disencouraged it was because of safety. Our safety. For yeah. us. Yeah. For us. Yeah. 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 Okay. One time, mm-hmm. trouble in Bolivia, he was middle of the night, pissed drunk guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then even locals showed up to be on our oh, side. Yes, yes. All teamed up. On. His, scream, <laughs> his screaming woke locals up and they were like, the locals, no, we know these guys, oh, they've been yeah. here, they're tranquilo, they don't cause any trouble, leave them alone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they thought we were Chilean because we drive with a Chilean plate and some older Bolivians don't like Chilians because uh, the Chilians took uh, the oh, coast. The wall, the wall, <laughs> the wall, yeah. So now they're landlocked. Yeah. And once he knew we were European, he was fine. A little, yeah. little bit more relaxed. Yeah. He was still yeah. piss drunk. And, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know. Cool. And then um, it sounds like you might have visited a few mechanics. Yeah. Any advice Maybe. on people picking a mechanic if they have a choice? Stay I calm. overlander. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. I overlander. And? Stay calm. You know? Even yeah. because most, the biggest jobs uh, we've had done, we didn't have a choice. Yeah. Well, yeah. The, jo- the choice was stay here with this local guy. We have a talk with him. We can say our Spanish is pretty okay. From the talk, we'll go, like, is he, do we have confidence in this guy? Mm. So the option in both occasions, we had two big breakdowns, was either put it on a lorry and spend already a lot of money before we even start fixing it, yeah, yeah. or go with this guy. Mm-hmm. So, especially your, your gut feeling, I would yeah, say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Speak, yeah. learn the language, yeah. and uh, yeah. ask a lot of, I always ask a lot of questions, especially in the beginning of the trip, because I didn't know anything about yeah. cars. Yeah. Also, if they're willing to take their time and explain to us in a way we understand. That's also like gives you yeah. a good feeling, you know. And if you can stay there, stay with the mechanic and ask yeah. what he's doing. And if they want to change out parts, 
look together. Then what, you what, have what? a look at the part that needs to be changed. Oh, yeah. yes, yes. So they can physically show you what's damaged, what's wrong, what's and, the reason. And what's getting and replaced. Why. Yeah. yeah, and what does the replacement yeah. look like. And from experience... Exactly. Is it another old one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 or is oh. it Chinese crap? Yeah, yeah. 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 super important. Say yeah. that again. Yeah, that, make sure it's not Chinese crap. Yeah. From Write that down. From what you said, Karin? Oh, don't replace it with another old one. No. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. check that they're replacing it with a yeah. new one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the quality of the new one. Yeah. yeah, so from experience we know it's better to wait a week or two weeks for an original part to be delivered from somewhere else than to put like, because there's a lot of uh, what pirate parts, yes. a lot of pirate parts around. Sometimes oh. there's no way to tell the difference, but if you're unsure and if it's an important part, uh, ship it from the yeah. US or something. Mm -hmm. Take your time. It will yeah. be worth the wait. Yeah. 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 Rather wait. Yeah. Yeah. And ask for a price estimation beforehand mm -hmm. for the labor and yeah. stuff so you don't... Get a surprise. Yeah. 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 It's nice to have an idea. Yeah. Sometimes if we need a job done and we're in a place with some options, we'll go to the mechanic first without the car and have a talk. Just see, ah. this is the vehicle, we want this, how would you do it? When can you do it? How long would it take you? What's the quote? And then we'll go from there. We'll talk to two, three guys even. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, other, the other thing with cars is also if you are in a country like us in Bolivia, you see a lot of Toyota high ISIS thing. That is a place where you're going to get parts made if you yeah. want to do a service. Yeah. They know the type of car. Yeah, 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 like your yeah, yeah. car is also popular in Chile, Colombia. Colombia. Yeah. Then you feel a bit more. Yeah, yeah, claro. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anticipate a little bit on that because yeah. your car. The parts of your car probably won't be available yeah. every South yeah. American country. Yeah. So do your research where you can find it and anticipate mm -hmm. on it. If you have a choice, do that before you buy your car. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. a smart one. Yeah. That was uh, one of the things we bought our vehicle in Chile, and we made sure it was one that was pretty common in almost every South American country. So it was relatively easy to find parts mm -hmm. everywhere. Okay, let's move on to, to camping. Okay, so the most, uh, I always ask um, for the lazy camper. Yeah. What is the top tip you can say, you can um, give them to save either time or effort or hassle? Well, what? save time is a weird one because my tip would be take your time. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lazy, Sleep uh, in. if you have time, take it. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah that's your perspective. Yeah. If you yeah. have time, take it. Um, you don't always want to be doing stuff, arranging stuff, even if it's yeah. doing research about tips or routes or whatever. Sometimes you want to be about doing nothing. Or slow down. Yeah. I would just say slow down. a lazy tip in the overall picture is just not to plan too much. Because there will be obstacles on your road, your van will break down or whatever. and. A, a strict planning is going to give you stress. Yeah. You're still traveling, so you yeah. don't want stress. Yeah. Yeah. So do your research like vaguely which seasons are best for which country, which region. Patagonia, for example, is hardly accessible during winter time. It's snowy and icy, uh, for example, but just take it as it goes. Yeah. And That's what we've done yeah. and I wouldn't, have, wouldn't change it. Give yourself the opportunity to hop on something spontaneous. Yes. Yeah. Small example, yes. we were camping in Colombia, we were about to leave the next day, this guy walks up to us, my friend starting a travel agency, he filed for subsidies, or government subsidies, but he needs to make a promo video. Ah, yes. We need some gringos, some tourists to be in the promo video, so would yeah. you come on this free tour with us? So yeah, of course. So we we, we, leave, we left two days later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you need to give yourself the time to or the space to be able to do that, you know, yeah. don't, don't be too strict. And it will be a lot less stressful that way. And you can enjoy, try to enjoy the times when you don't have any challenges to beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Try to enjoy that. Yeah. Lazy tips to, to make life easier for you to save effort? Like practical stuff. Yeah, well, whatever, but yeah. Yeah, have you got any? Like but we're, we're lazy in general, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, are you aware of that? I thought you, you thought you're hard work. We're chill. <laughs> <laughs> no, like practical stuff is, I think most of it comes with how your vehicle is designed and how it's built and you, especially if, you, uh, if you're a couple uh, or it's partners or if you're a team or whatever, uh, you develop habits. You do a talk for daily, we call it in yeah. Dutch. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Sharing of duties. Yeah, yeah. and it, you roll into habits that way. Yeah. And you can kind of, I can kind of presume she's going to do this and this and I'm, she presumes I do other stuff. 
so stuff that you are the base yeah, yeah. But it's good to have a, like a practical, lazy, I don't know, I wouldn't call it lazy, but practical. Yeah. It's like uh, develop habits, the both of you, for the responsibilities. Yeah, yeah. 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 Take turns and stuff you both don't like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and develop habits for it. Yeah. For, yeah. And the, like uh, a lazy thing, lazy might be kind of floaty or hippie sounding. I mentioned this before. Um, what I like to say is, I don't, I don't always like to how you call it, visit, visit places, or go and see places. Floaty it's thing very, to say. Very touristy place. Yeah, but floaty thing to say, or nice thing to say, we'd also try to experience them. And it's an experience, it's not something you can capture with a photo, you know? You have to be there for some time, catch the vibe, talk to the people, and even when you're staying in some time, some, in the same spot for some time, you develop habits there. You yeah. go, you find yourself yeah. going to the same bakery, to the same lunch spot, to the same coffee yeah, spot, yeah. whatever. Yeah. You get to know people yes, over there. a little bit, uh, they yeah. recognize the face. Yeah, and that's a nice feel to have, because you're also, you're gonna submerge yourself more in local culture, I feel. Do you think that's the difference between travelers and overlanders? No, you have overlanders that go fast as fuck as well. Super <laughs> fast, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but in your definition, I mean. No, not no, an overlander will take more time and effort no, to, to, not, to experience your No, not necessarily, no. Yeah. no. You have people who just go from camp spot to camp spot yeah. and never really talk with, with, with yeah. locals or interact with locals. They yeah. usually talk with, with people that are also from their country, for example. Yeah. 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 They, they don't really... No, no, definitely not. If it's it's go, a difference in, yeah. in person and type of yeah. personality, but I don't yeah. think there's a connection with backpacking or overlanding. Yeah. 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 If you go in words, I think there may be a difference, like when I talked about experience a place, there might be the difference between traveling and taking a holiday. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. permanently traveling yeah. and taking Not permanently, but long term. Long term, yeah. 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 Okay, and have you got any lazy, lazy practical tips to save time effort? Uh, it might be something stupid, but I, I love, we have this uh, tennis racket that's electrical yeah, yeah. to kill mosquitoes and whatever flies in your van. And it's very satisfactory and you don't make stains on your walls. Oh, okay. You don't really have to hunt them down too much. Just you smell just the hold it in the heat. air and, and yeah. press the button and then shh, very satisfying. And have you got more, Karin, from last interview? Yeah, just with been somebody thinking. Have more? So they taught us how to make red peppers on the bread, which is really nice. That's how is nice that lazy? <laughs> no, Let's because see. it's an easy, it's an easy thing to make. Oh, oh yeah. make it easy to cook. Red yeah. yeah, it's just paprika and olive oil, and just put it on the fire yeah. and then but that's it gets cooked. So because chances nice. are you guys always have a fire, no? Yes. Or a yeah. Well, most likely. Yeah. So that was a And then also <laughs> other lazy tips, maybe just to get a camping chair. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Otherwise, you think, then you don't need to borrow other people's or stand all the time. That's a <laughs> okay, let's just give them the quick background. How many chairs have you broken? Three okay. minimum. So, yeah, so Ben has grown, broken yeah. three plus chairs. So he stopped buying them because they keep breaking. Yeah. Also, I also need to add. Is I don't mind problem? sitting on the floor that much. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But if people offer me a chair, I'll yeah. accept. Yeah. 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 And I then one of you had a good tip about building vans. Uh. Uh-huh, yeah. I can't that, remember that which was, one of was, you it was. was me. <laughs> well, I did, uh, I did some research beforehand, obviously. Yeah. One of the best tips I read this online. This is now before or while you're designing yeah. your van. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, one of the best tips I read about online was to design your van according to the stuff you're going to put into. So make sure... Uh, so we have a 20 liter drinking water um, bottle mm -hmm. that we can change out and save plastic. That way we have a place that it fits. We wanted to take uh, our big trekking uh, backpacks, so we made sure we had a compartment that yeah. fitted in. Yeah. And so it's a pretty small van, it's combi sized more or less, but we have almost no clutter hanging around because the compartments are very well thought out and yes. designed. So yeah. it makes the space very feel well. as Functional. big as, as it could possibly feel. Because it's still a small space, but if you're able to stuff everything away, it, it really helps a lot. The guy who built the van before putting all the furniture in, he literally put the 20 liter drinking bottle, yes. the gray tank, the other tank, it's the battery goes here. He put that in and then see how we can build the furniture. Yeah, it's around easy it. to visualize yes. in that yeah. way, yeah. you know. Yeah. And you can, yeah. the yeah. distances are yeah. well. Yeah. I can still have a bed that's two meters long. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a very good point. And a roof vent is, is absolutely necessary, I would say. Mm -hmm. Main ventilation. Oh, roof yeah. vent. So yeah. not only when you're parked, when you're sleeping inside or something and you for the air to go out, but also if you're parked somewhere in, in, yeah. in the city, you can still have some airflow without yeah. uh, mm -hmm. having the fear of someone breaking in. And when you're cooking inside. And when yeah. you're cooking inside, mm -hmm. lots of reasons. Yeah. It's kind of essential. Mm -hmm. And then any advice for couples that start traveling? Did you guys have any Couple. big fights that you yeah. had ways to yeah, of make, it, make, it, yeah. make it yeah. easier for them? Realize in time that the big fight is part of it. Yeah. And they'll, in most cases, they will fade away <laughs> yeah. in time. Yeah. It's yeah. just you're living together almost 24-7 yeah. in, 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 in a very in a small tight space. space. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and times like this, it's Christmas and we're meeting up with other overlanders, but lots of times it's just the two of us. Yeah. A lot. So it's very <laughs> normal that, that conflict will arise. Yeah. And I think we learn over time doing this to do it in a more and more healthy way. Way, yeah. You know? yeah. So, uh, what tip, what tip would down, you give? Calming down, not what? exaggerated. Just know that it's coming and, and communicate. Yeah, and by, you know, there's yeah. nothing else you can do. Basically. By by certain time, you'll and, start uh, recognizing mm -hmm. what makes a fight last for multiple hours, you know, yeah. <laughs> or even two days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you'll start recognizing those factors, and your child is take to take those out. Yeah. yeah. And you you can give each other if you're mad. It's like appreciate each other's space you know if, if you're mad you don't need to fix it then and there you can yeah. give each other half hour hour two yeah. hour if they need yeah. it yeah. And but they then talk about it yeah that's one of the things the you, you the struggled with i needed yeah. some time to to, to calm be down and give me yeah. give me a few hours or maybe just half an hour yeah. but you're still together you can't walk yeah. away or something. and i want to fix the problem immediately then. but then I'm my the emotions yeah. Yeah. are still too high just so yeah. it's it's counterproductive to make me have that conversation yes. right yeah. then and there. Yeah. And yeah. then you, you learn what you what, yeah. what one another needs to, yeah. to fix the yeah. fight and, and time out. Yeah. Okay, any, yeah. any tips for couples? Spice is a big thing, so what I discussed. Mm -hmm. And then you must be really good friends. Huh? Yeah, you must really get along. Yeah. yeah. And and maybe, before you, and before you start. And, and and this, yes, and also <laughs> discuss beforehand what type of trip are you going to have? Are you going to stay a lot in <coughs> Airbnb? How often are you going to sleep in the van? What is your expectation of while camping versus a campsite? And then budget. Yeah. Budget so, is the most important. Yeah. 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 Like, because we changed, like, this This seems a, a lot like planning for us. We just, we just fucking, we, we go. Yeah, yeah. We go and then we'll, we'll change plans and stay how long we're, or while camping. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. We didn't communicate that much in front. For us, it was more like the talk. I don't know how you might say the the um, task. Uh, no, the vision of task. No, no, yeah. no. no um, the right word is uh, sip, um, splitting of duty. Yeah, by yeah. splitting of duty. Yeah. At some time, yeah. you'll you'll notice you'll become a team. You know. Yeah. And you yeah. a well oiled machine. And, and this say, one is better than yeah. this, and that one is better than yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. How we do it. Exactly. Yeah. And how long yeah. did it take for that to shake out? I still, by now, I'm still surprised sometimes how fast we can uh, do, do stuff. stuff if yeah. we want to, if, if we're on the we clock, <laughs> if yeah. you're on the clock, you know, like yeah, yeah, we yeah. can still like I know yeah. I do this and that and that. Yeah. yeah. So, so how many months growing? or weeks did it take before you you thought, oh, now we like settled in, everybody knows what it's to do. It's hard to put like certain time. Yeah, just a thumbs up. Yeah. I don't know half a year or something. Okay, I say six, seven months, but yeah. it's also. It, you need to get used to living living in a van. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that that that's part of the whole thing. Yeah. The beginning was like very exciting. Everything, every campsite, every wild yeah. campsite, yeah. everything you see was exciting. And by now we feel it's more of a really a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We don't want to be yeah. out the van because the rooms yeah. we can afford are crappier than the van. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Our van is the beds are shit. Yeah. Our van is so yeah. cozy. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. home. It really feels yeah. like home. Like when we're. We parked the van somewhere, we went into town or we went to do a multiple day hike. We say, oh, I'm so happy to go home and home is yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so many of the things which were ex very exciting and new the first six months, maybe six months to a year, they feel like normal now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's every day. Yeah. 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 Well, that, that, was, that was my question. Yeah. Do you have anything you want to ask us? Oh, oh, we should oh, have prepared yeah, for that. You should have, you should have told us. <laughs> no, then I can't surprise you and I can't have, ooh, going on the screen. I don't know, like, I'm, I'm, yeah. did, 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 um, like I mentioned before, ever, I was, ever since I was a teenager, I, I've been wanting to travel. Yeah. Yeah? And I, I saved money, ever, like my, my 
student job, I asked money for birthdays, and I put them in a pot for traveling yes, when yes. I was 14 years old already. Um, and then when I got older, I started working, and before you know, you got stuck. You know, you have a long time job, you're renting a place, whatever. And then I, I, I had to uh, say it because. Yes. Be very conscious. Be, make very conscious choices. Wait a minute. Ten years ago, mm -hmm. I thought I said myself I didn't want this, yeah. so I blew up bridges. <laughs> now, now you, now you're in it. Yeah. yeah. Did, did that happen for you? Was there like an idea from the? From no, the I've always wanted to travel, but yeah. uh, but it's because when we when I was a child, my father was a teacher and he did research trips, and we would drive these long yeah. distances in a big valiant. I don't know if you've ever seen a valiant. It's very old, bro. No. A, a, big, a big valiant, they valiant. Were valiant. Like a um, with a caravan and we would continue every a, every uh, every school holiday we I would be traveling yeah. I've Five always been saving long. money even when we were working we were traveling for six weeks every two years yeah to keep the travel back fed yeah yeah but then so we the made the decision and, and then eventually we said for good life in said. four yeah. years time we're gonna like and then we said it all the job yeah. mm -hmm. And, and we would yeah. never buy furniture for our flat. We would yeah. always have the crappiest furniture yeah. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. that was not a priority to spend yeah. money on. Yeah. Yeah. You know, our friends were buying like fancy fucking yeah. couches and shit. But everything we had a bed in the lounge. Both of us have is, yeah. is in his mom's stored in one room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, was yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, That's it. Mm -hmm. Do, do you do you reckon like we've already we, 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 now at this point in time we're coming to the end or the end is. I was in sight. Okay, yeah, yeah. On the horizon. Yeah, yeah, right. So it's four or five months more. Have you already started fantasizing about, fantasizing about the next vehicle? I, the ha next I have a vehicle? list of, yeah. of, of travel ideas. Destinations. Yeah. Uh, you have not, not about the vehicle, about yeah. what I would like yeah. to do in the next few years. Even though we yeah. know, we, or I know at least, we're going to be working for a year, maybe two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Realistically. But that's okay because in the meantime we can also rekindle our relationships with our friends and family yeah. Yeah. while spicing up the, the money that mm. yeah, yeah. 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 So I made a list already. Yeah. As I get ideas I, I will put it on a on a note. Yeah. Um, just options of yeah. what I would like to and do. Do you yeah. do you consider the option that in one point in time you might feel the need to be more rooted? To have more structure, more predictability. I know I'm gonna have I this do. job I like. Yeah, I yeah. Know. yeah, but we are also. So I would really like to see my family and friends more, mm -hmm. more often. Mm -hmm. um, two years has been a bit too long for me. Yeah. So yeah. I would like to go back. Yeah. Yeah. But if you, for yeah. example, would travel more, do you want to travel more in Africa? Do yes. Think, yeah. If yeah. you travel in Africa, wouldn't it? Wouldn't there be more friends or family? No, I know. Maybe. Visit you. If that's what I'm thinking about, if we do it in Europe, Africa, or more closer to home, friends are going to be no, more easy no. to, to... Because we, where we are located, in South Africa, so yeah. that's at the point. So yeah. we will normally go north, yeah. then you have and to come back. And that's so big this So we've been thinking about maybe going somewhere for six months or nine yeah. months. But, but I don't want to, I want to, I need to see my family and friends. I want yeah. to yeah. Um, or design the vehicle so that she, if she gets home, she, she can fly back and I can maybe continue and yeah. fly through and yeah. meet yeah. up with me again. Yeah. Because she's got a bigger need to be yeah. with yeah. the boarding so, people at home. For me, As our video decided to stop recording after 30 minutes of wisdom from you guys, I just want to say thank you very much. Yeah, for welcome. sharing a brilliant new year with us. We've popped yeah. over the border since the part one of this video and had a great new year together. Thank you. And it's thank been a year since you did the other video. Which other video? The first part oh, one. Oh, yeah. yes. New year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, sure. New year. <laughs> yeah. Um, so thank you very much for sharing all your wisdom. No problem. Um, and if you've liked this video, please remember to like, like and subscribe. subscribe.